Alright bro. You have to stop listening to your own brain. Now, the thing is your foundation is messed up bro. You think you can become the person to do the habits that you want to do. Maybe you want to build a good physique. But your diet is horrendous. You're still watching the hub and eating junk food. You're still doing all these instant gratification activities. And you want to achieve this big goal. Maybe you want to get to say 12% body fat. And you're still indoors every single day doing nothing. And no exercise, no movement. Your room probably still smells like B.O. And you expect to have everything you want just magically appear. Without changing your mindset, your habits, your dopamine levels, without changing everything about yourself. You expect to just have the ability to pretty much like a switch, turn it off and on when it you know seems fit to yourself. So ask yourself, are you the guy currently that avoids the video games, the junk food, the easy dopamine activities? Or do you still do, do those even here and there? Bro? Have you cut them out entirely from your life? Have you cut social media out or at least tried the dopamine detox? And all these other instant gratification activities, bro. There's countless out there now. And if you do still do these activities, then you haven't evolved, bro. You have not changed to become the person that you want to become. And the hard truth that people don't want to believe is you're going to be stuck there, bro. I'll tell you from experience. If you don't change your mindset, your habits, if you don't change the person that you are now, you're not going to achieve the goals that you want to achieve, bro. You have to understand, if you're still that person, if you're still listening to that part of your brain that literally made you play video games and waste so many hours and probably days and weeks, to be honest, if you add it all up, bro, on video games, social media, scrolling at night on the hub. You're still listening to that guy and you, you believe some way along the line it's gonna just change by itself and you're gonna change, you're gonna achieve your goals, bro. But I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen, bro. So you must understand that Change does not come without evolution. So you must become the person worthy of actually achieving and acquiring these goals that you want. And there's a famous quote from Alex Samozzi. He's a famous entrepreneur on social media nowadays. And I wanted to relate it to self-improvement, habits, all that kind of stuff. And he says, you do not have business problems. You have personal problems that seep into your business. Now, the funny thing here, bro, is you don't have problems with discipline, motivation, habits, Nutrition, whatever it is, bro. You don't have a problem. You don't have a problem. Like particularly in that area, what you do have is personal problems that are reflecting in all aspects of your life, bro. Because you haven't changed yourself. So how do you expect to, you know, become the person to achieve that physique, to achieve that discipline, that mindset shift, right? And you got to understand every problem 
you face in life, apart from externally, maybe, you know, something else happens, like a car crash and stuff, you can't obviously, you know, expect to be at fault for that. But I'm talking personal, internal problems from yourself can be linked back to you, you and you only, bro. And you're the sole reason for these problems seeping into every single area of your life, bro. But, again, you're the only person that can actually fix these problems, bro. So, you can take it either negatively or positively, bro. Because at the end, at the end of the day, you can change it for the better or just stay where you are, stay stagnant, bro. And understand most of the time, how you do some things is how you do everything, bro. Now, what I mean by this is, if your bed is dirty, you haven't changed the covers, you, your room is a mess and you stink like body odor because you don't shower, how do you think that's, that's going to affect every other area of your life, bro? Whether it's financial, in your job, physique-wise, nutrition, you're always going to half ass everything, bro. Do you really expect something different? And for you to have some special discipline in those areas when you're slacking in other areas, bro. No, that's not the case. For example, if you cheat on your diet, your training will be affected because you don't have maybe enough nutrients that day because you went and ate like cookies, possibly, or sweets that have no nutritional value, bro. And this will actually seep into your discipline again in regards to your physique because you're cheating on your diet, bro. Your, phys your physique is going to suffer. Especially if it's long term, bro. Even mid term. Like short. Few weeks, bro. You cheat on your diet. That's definitely going to be detrimental, bro. So understand that. And this is going to seep into other areas of your life, as I said. And then. What you do, bro, is you begin to allow these things to affect your life. You be you begin to become that messy type that messy kind of guy the messy room kind of guy where you really just you know strolling through life half-assed not doing everything to the capacity that you can actually do so at the end of the day bro you need to change who you are currently to achieve your goals, bro. And the important thing to remember is stop listening to that part of your brain that made you click on the hub, watch it for hours upon hours, play video games, scroll on social media for endless hours, bro. And just stay with these addictions for years upon years without changing at all. Just turn that part of your brain off. Stop listening to it. And your progress will come even faster, bro. Focus on the input and the output will take care of itself, bro. And that's all for me today, bro. I hope you learned something and you took something away, bro. And if you want my personal one-to-one -one help, then click the link in the description, bro. Apart from that, bro, I'll see you boys in the next one.